What's that? At the end, when you do show you that score, and then the offense can get anything going. Say it again. The what? Which? At the very end, UCLA scored a couple touchdowns. Yeah, I thought there was. I didn't think we should have let them score. I think we should have been sharper on uh, offense. I, I mean, uh, they made some good plays and stuff. And then, um, you know, and then we got behind the stick some uh, because they were yelling out our snap count. We didn't get any help with that. So, um, you know, we ended up behind the sticks uh, a little more than we should have. It was sort of a weird or a, a different sort of game for you guys. It's the first time you ever had done a touchdown pass for the one game. How do you think your team adapted to just uh, sort of different conditions than what they're used to playing? I didn't really think that was a problem. I think we just tried to make uh, too much happen a little bit early. Then we got in sync. Then we marched up and down the field. Uh, sometimes we scored, sometimes we did. But we did march up and down the field. We changed the field. Uh, and then... Uh, I thought we played a real good game defensively until late uh, in the fourth. And then, you know, and the only thing that really haunted us defensively was explosives, I thought. I thought they did a good job because they have a really good trio of backs. I think those guys are really good. They get good old linemen, good quick receivers. We did a good job tackling them. Occasionally gave up explosives that kept drives alive. Those two field goals ended up being pretty important. It's kind of a really dagger kicker back. Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he kicked really well. He looked really good after kicking today. How good are you feeling about your team right now? I mean, four wins in a row, three conference wins. You seem to be gelling. Well, we're doing some good things. There's no question. We work really hard. We play really hard. Um, um, you know, we're, we're a, a, a focused, competitive group. Uh, weather and all that, and not a, a, um, a, a, an opponent with the quality of UCLA. He was loaded, obviously. Um, I was proud of our guys sticking in there and playing tough like they did because, you know, I mean, um, conditions and our, our, our opponents, you know, you have to be tough. I felt like uh, we should have finished better, but I thought we had an awful lot of good stuff in between in order to make all this happen. So, Do you think your team improved this week in the way you hope to every week? Well, I, I thought we improved for sure. I thought we definitely improved. Um, and I thought we improved on all sides of the ball. I thought we could have played more in sync on offense. Considering the conditions, how would you evaluate Luke's game today? I thought he could have played better. He'd agree with that, too. Coach, were you familiar with the process of the catch rule? Uh, I, I, look, I, you guys are going to have to look at that. And you, you, you look at it very, very, very carefully. And you write whatever's in your heart and in your mind. But for the time being, uh, I'll, I'll offer us. Did I think it was a catch? Yes. Okay. But uh, the rest of that, that's all up to you. Uh, uh, do whatever you think is fair, right, and uh, correct in such a situation. And, uh, and uh, that's not something I'd even be particularly guarded on. I mean, but um, uh, you guys knock yourself out. Coach, what was the deal with the snap infractions that you guys They were yelling out our snap count. We could never get any help with it. And that's about as much as I can say about that. They were yelling out our snap count. They, they, what was the snap infraction? The, the, the other team was yelling out our snap count, which is illegal, and um, that's as far as it went. Was there some things that the backup quarterback presented that uh, you, you, you might have had trouble with? Uh, obviously, Rosen's a, a heck of a quarterback, but were, were there some things that he did well to back up? Uh, you know, they're similar. I mean, similar style, similar style. You know, he was a highly touted recruit and all that and does a lot of good things and, you know, good arm and good uh, – I thought he played pretty well, you know. I mean, I thought he was a good player. And then um, – but, you know, they're similar style. I mean, on, on a certain level, if, you know, like if they had Dan Marino back there, there's nothing they can really change defensively. You go out and play it because they're going to you know, present opposite problems, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought, I, I thought he was a good player. I thought he played well. Dylan Hands is a guy you guys have seen a feature for for a long time, played as a true freshman. Well, what is he doing lately just in these last couple of weeks that's allowed him to kind of flourish in that way that you've always seen for him? 
Um, yeah, you know, he's playing faster. He's, you know, uh, I don't think his mind's as clouded. Sometimes he gets in his own way because he's a real fast, athletic guy. And then, uh, you know, if, if you know if we do a good job of ignoring all his explanations, he plays pretty well. Anything else for coach?